Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Karin, the founder of Glowing Face and I have a special guest with me today again. Hello. Hello, Karin. Um, if you don't know him yet, he is Dr. Matej Kulish, dentist specialized in prostodontics and bruxism. And he's here with me today to talk about facial asymmetry. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So this is a very... Uh, you know, common problem we are facing when looking at our faces and today we are going to explain the behind the scenes so why facial asymmetry actually happens and how to treat it with face exercises. Stay with us till the end because we are also showing you how to do one very interesting exercise that is helping you balance the whole face. But before getting there, we have to learn the science. So we are going to start with uh, facial anatomy, right? Yes, we will start with the basics of facial an anatomy, with uh, uh, this symmetry. If we divide our face, we can divide it on the three thirds. The, here is the upper third, which starts uh, at the beginning of forehead. Here is the middle third and lower third. All this third is a very variable do during our life. So it is very changeable. The most changeable is the lower third. If you remember your grandparents who have a very lo uh, uh, low lower third and they get a very prominent uh, uh, chin. So this part is very variable during the over life. So that actually means that our thirds are all aging, right? But the third that is aging the most is, is the, the lower, lower third. third. Yeah. The, here is a very important is the teeth because during the our life the teeth get uh, weird, no? And with teeth weird we lose the volume and also we lose the volume of our bones, so we have a decrease in the lower third. Yeah. So actually. If you look at your face and if you see that you are starting to get wrinkles here, but not only wrinkles, something like hollowness or also, you know, backs on the sides of the face and everything is slowly, you know, sagging down uh, and in, then for sure you have this actually problem, right? Where the lower third of the face is losing its shape and size. Also, it is very important because during the hour uh, aging, we lose the volume in our muscles, our bone, that is completely normal process of aging. So we're losing bone density, we're yes. losing, losing volume in the muscles, but also facial fat. And we're also losing the density of collagen in mm. our skin. Yeah. So all this produce that we lose the volume and we have a sagging down of the face and we lose this facial thirst, this facial symmetries, which mm -hmm. is a very connected with the att attractiveness. Yeah. So, uh, why is the exercise is so important? Because with the exercise, like if we do exercise uh, for our body, we stimulate our muscles. With stimulating muscles, we stimulating our bones, and bones doing this uh, produce the signals which decrease the losing of volume. This is the very important part, yeah. and you will explain today. Why, which type of uh, exercise is uh, very important to decrease this uh, process of aging? Yes, very good uh, thing. And I have one question here, because looking at women and men, we can actually see that there are more women who have problems, you know, regarding the aging in this lower third. Men, you know, you cannot see a lot of men with uh, hollowness in the cheeks or let's say also nasolabial folds or wrinkles around the mouth, sagging corners of the mouth. Why is it that women are more prone to age in this lower third than men? Here, uh, because there is the problem of women uh, sexual hormones. Mm -hmm. Yes, because this hormones is a very connected with the bone metabolism, and this when we have a decrease of woman sexual hormones, we get a decrease in the bone metabolism. So we have a faster losing of bone volume, mm -hmm. and this here is the main reason why women lose more volume in the face than men's. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And what do you think about um, putting some kind of fillers and so on in, let's say, the lips and, um, you know, to regain this volume? Um, what the women, because women mostly do that, what should they be careful of? With the fillers we have a, a lot of complication which could happen during all uh, invasive procedure, mm -hmm. like 
like hematomes, like bleeding, like swelling. This bumps and lumps. Bl bumps and so lumps. Even also, bigger symmetry, right? Also, we can get the occlusion of artery and necrosis of skin. There is a lot of uh, risk mm -hmm. which produce such a such a such a pro, uh, such a uh, uh, such a procedure. Mm -hmm. So the exercise is a more natural way because with the exercise, like I uh, like I explained, produce that we stimulate the muscle. We, we build our muscle, we build our bones. Yeah. So we have a two ways. We can also decide for a fillers, which is easy, but we, we, must take care, we must take care with all of these complications which could happen. Mm -hmm. But is also, a much more if safe... you exaggerate, right, then yeah. you are ruining your uh, thirds, right? Because yes. here everything is just like super plumped and volumized. But then let's say other parts of the face are not being treated and you are actually creating even bigger uh, symmetry. Yes, what is very important with fillers we can only uh, induce the soft tissue volume. We cannot prevent decrease in a, a bone volume. Mm. That is the main difference. Mm. Because with the exercise we also stimulating the bone like I said before. Yeah. That is very important because muscles is connected on the bone and when muscles work they stimulate the bo bone, they induce the bone metabolism and bone uh, stop the aging. Very and we, important. Uh, we, don't, uh, we, we, don't, we, we lose this decrease yeah. in the bone volume. It's that the is the very the body, important right? because with fillers yeah. we only induce the soft tissue volume. Yeah. Uh, okay, and you know, you now know that you can divide your face in many different ways actually. We started talking about the thirds, right? So the horizontal upper, thirds, yeah. we have also vertical fifths. Fifths, yeah, but today we are also going to just talk about vertical left, uh, left, right and left side of the face. Because a lot of you is also asking me how to balance your face, you know, because let's say your right cheek is sagging more than the left one and so on. So we are also coming to that part. But when we are talking about the facial thirds, if you want to get a nice balance and if you want to regain volume, structure, if you want to tone and lift your face, what you have to do is take care of all the, thir all the three thirds and then start focusing on the third you would like to improve the most. Do you and agree? Yes, I agree completely. And what I would like to add about the facial uh, symmetry, uh, the fa on facial symmetry is it's very also influenced per function. Mm -hmm. Like if you sleep on the one side, if we chewing on the one side. So this is more on, right and yes, left. Yeah. With this we, on, we, we induce more asymmetry. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to also manage these para functions, like para yeah. functions, like I said. This is yeah. a very important. So, also, the bruxism, like I said, teeth te gritting and, and and clenching, also producing that we decrease the the to, uh, tooth structure and we lose the the volume in yeah. the lower term. Yeah. So, so also, if you are a side sleeper, please switch sides. But let's talk about the solutions now, right? So as I already started explaining, um, if you want to create a nice balance in your face, you have to take care of every single third, but also you have to take care of your right and left side of the face. You have to know that when talking about facial muscles, you are actually having everything super, super, super closely connected. So you cannot just locate one muscle, let's say the cheeks, right? You are trying to balance your cheeks, you cannot just locate one muscle and say, okay, I'm just going to do the exercise for that part and expect great results and great balance. It's not going to happen because your cheeks are connected to the orbicularis oris muscle, to the eye muscles, to every other muscle on the face. And if you are trying to get the best out of the best, you have to make sure all the connections, so all the muscles that are connected to the cheeks are getting the night like a nice workout and are fully activated so this is why also in our online face workout program we 
did just that. So week by week you are activating the right muscles, the right muscle groups. You are then doing three exercises for the whole week so you really get the activation and control over the facial muscles and then you start adding new exercises and from the outer muscle layers you are slowly going to the deeper uh, and inner muscle layers to, from the biggest muscles to the smallest muscles in your face. This is the first and major step. You have to activate everything, no matter if you have problem in the lower part or in, let's say, in the under eye area, okay? Like Karin uh, said, I would like to add that is for facial muscles is a very typical that this muscles is a highly interconnected, mm -hmm. more than any or the, more than any other part of yeah. the, our body. I, this yeah. is a very important message. Mm -hmm. Because just think about it, right? If you want to build nice muscles in the arm, you don't have to work out the leg, right? But yes. if you are trying to build a nice volume in the cheeks, let's say, you have to, as I said before, work out the muscles that are closely connected to the cheek area, okay? And if we are then talking about the left and, you know, I'm always changing the right and left side of the face because there is also imbalance a lot of times due to, as you said, you know, um, function. Yes. So sleeping, sleeping on one side, bruxism, chewing on one yeah. side. With fa like face exercise is the only way in, in which you can actually uh, uh, build and create a, a symmetry on your face. Okay, no massage can do that because with the massage you are only relaxing the muscles, you know, the tensions and the tension in the muscle, but massage cannot activate tone and lift the muscle to the previous position, so to the position where you are trying to get the muscle, okay? With the massage? We only induce blood perfusion yes. of, of, of so muscle. So blood circulation. Blood circulation. We also take carry away these all metabolic products of 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 of, uh, of metabolic products mm -hmm. of muscles. But you can. We don't stop. build up the yeah. muscle, and we also with massage we don't stimulate the bone. Yeah. We have to do exercise. Yeah. And this is also how you create balance. So let's say that your right side of the face is sagging more. Let's say that you look yourself in the mirror and that you see that the corner, so the right corner is sagging down. What you have to do, as I said before, at first I suggest you, I suggest everybody, no matter what is your problem, to do the five week long program, so the basic program, to really activate every single muscle. But once you did that, when you start doing the exercises, start focusing on the weakest area of the face more. So let's say that the corner is sagging here. What you're going to try to do is, when you're doing the exercise, you're going to try to lift this corner higher than on the left. And when you're going to create pressure with your fingers, you're going to try to stimulate the, this corner more by pressing with your fingers more in this side. Do yes. you agree? Yes. Yeah. In this way, you're actually creating a nice balance and it is the same with the cheeks and it is the same with, let's say, the upper eyelids. You correct with this, your asymmetry. Yes. Uh, why am I always saying to activate your other muscles first and before starting to, you know, starting to focus on one area only? Because you have to gain control over the muscle. Okay? Once you have it, uh, and you know you have to learn the exercises, right? And once you have everything in your mind, you know all the steps, then you are able to do you know, a step more and focus on the side that is sagging more. So let's show one exercise, right? Yes. Uh, we were talking about the corners of the mouth. What you can actually do is, you can do, uh, repeat it with me. So let's do the exercise. Let's do the ah. From here, let's go to A, as we would like to smile. And then we're going to roll our upper lip over the upper T, like this. Mm -hmm. The lower lip is completely relaxed. And now we are going to use our fingers and we're going to press them here near the corners, not near, but on the corners. And if you have a lot of sagging skin and let's say nasolabial lines, try to, you know, cover 
the bigger area okay and just press in and now um, if we are talking about the right sagging right try to lift the right corner higher and in that area try to press more with your fingers can you feel it mm -hmm. yeah and holding it for 30 seconds breathing deeply always trying to focus more on the right side so lifting higher, lifting higher, lifting higher, making sure there are no wrinkles okay, anywhere. Now, right? Yeah, yeah, very good. And then slowly relaxing the pose, you know. And you can do this three times, 30 seconds, and you are going to already, you know, activate your muscles in the nice way. So with exercise, we also build more feeling in our muscles. So yeah. we will also we will get more in mind about the left and left yeah. and right side and we are and we get actually, a better proprioception yeah. where is our position of our muscles and it is super interesting because at first when you start doing the exercises you can also say that you know it's like when you are doing the exercise you are not knowing which muscle is working you have no clue what to do you are just feeling some kind of tension yes, yes. but let's say after two three weeks of working out you already start feeling every single muscle and it's you know the exercises get easier not that they're not working but you are getting control over the muscle and it is easier to do the exercises just because of that right yes. yeah and this is why I always say do the basics first and then start focusing on the areas you would like to improve the most one thing more before we finish here um, also, if you are having problems with the thirds, as I said, don't focus on one third only and do the exercises only for that part. Start activating everything and then focus on the last, on the third you would like to improve the most. And we are also here to help you out um, besides doing the basic, you know, besides having the basic online course, we are also, um, you know, uh, launching in May. Uh, advanced online programs which are actually three workout plans one for the upper part one for the central part and one for the lower part every single workout plan contains um, a warm-up uh, a workout where you are doing the exercises in a static and also cardio version and massage as a cool down plus a pressure so you are actually getting uh, the whole workout 30 minutes long for every part of the face um, and this is how you know you can do the basics and then with that workout plan you can start focusing and you know uh, work out the area you would like to improve the most or you can get every everything and just like make sure that everything is nicely stimulated so I will uh, conclude with uh, with one uh, mind if you want to build your muscle on your on your on your body you start to work out if you want to build your attractive face you have to start work out yeah. so we have also different ways we explained very good why is very good to build your attractive face with exercise but you have also different solution this solution is much more natural and also much more uh, also not only induce the soft tissue volume but also induce the bone volume and also you get the feeling of your muscles yeah. on your face. So it's not only about the attractive face, it's actually about functional and feeling, face. Yes. Yeah, it is about well-being, health and attractiveness because actually at the end of the day everything is super connected together. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for joining thank and explaining for... everything from a medical view. And uh, we see you again in another video. Bye.